These are the stories. There is a foundation out there that helps to get back into it. Of organizations making a difference. What really limits our ability to do something is people's imagination. And empowering others across Canada. When I get into that sledge, I'm free, man. I'm playing hockey. It's a great organization and it's worth supporting. In our community. What's your favorite thing to do, Joseph? I like to dance. You like to dance? Yes. Awesome. Oh, wow. You are so good at dancing. Woohoo. Awesome. I th oh, wow, Joseph. Awesome. Woohoo. That's a great warm up for the first thing on a Saturday morning, isn't it? What is your favorite thing to do at Smile today? What do you think you're going to do today? Are you at Acadia today? University's Athletic Center, a physical literacy program aptly named Smile is underway. Morning, Luke. Smile's program director, Roxanne Seaman, greets participants as they arrive. The Smile program is a sensory motor instructional leadership experience. It is a physical literacy program for children, youth, and adults with all ability levels. Smile takes place at the Acadia Athletic Complex. It consists of a gymnasium as well as an arena and a pool. So the SMILE program has the opportunity to use all of the Acadia Athletic Complex on each of the program days. Each participant works towards their own physical activity goals, which also helps to build social skills and self-confidence. A favorite activity is skating, where the entire ice rink is used for play. Children get their laces tied and their helmets on with assistance from their buddies. Are you excited, George? There you go, mister. Hey. All right, well, have fun out there, buddy. Smile boasts an incredible roster of student volunteers, and Roxanne watches as they glide around the ice with their buddies. In the 20 years that Roxanne has been involved with Smile, she's become deeply passionate about the program, and now she could not imagine her life without it. Yet, her first encounter with Smile happened by chance. I came to visit some friends when I was a student at Memorial University of Newfoundland, and those friends were volunteering with the SMILE program on a Saturday morning, so I came and tagged along and saw what was offered. So shortly after I went back to Newfoundland, I told my parents that I would really like to transfer to Acadia University to volunteer with the SMILE program. So the following year, I came to finish my last two years at Acadia University, and I gained a lot of experience working with individuals of all abilities within the program setting. I decided at that time that I would like to pursue a career in the field of adapted physical activity. That's the field that the SMILE program falls underneath in the field of kinesiology specifically. After getting her PhD in adapted physical activity, Roxanne became a professor of kinesiology at Acadia. She works hard to build an inclusive community where everyone feels welcome. There you go. I bend your knees a little bit. At the ice rink, Acadia Axemen, members of the varsity hockey team, have also become part of the Smile community as they volunteer their time teaching kids to skate. Good job, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. Everyone has something that they can share in all different types of settings and so to recognize everyone for who they are and what their abilities are is really important. Um, it's something that can build the communities, it's what can be a focus in terms of celebrating a number of different successes in all different kinds of environments. So we should recognize everyone's abilities and not ever think that people aren't capable of having achievements and accomplishments in what it is that they're doing in their everyday life. Roxanne's desire to celebrate all abilities while building inclusive communities is supported by her own family as her three children also volunteer at SMILE. My family has been attending the SMILE program since each of them have been born and it gives me the opportunity for me to stay committed and be able to lead the program at the level that I would like to lead it. They each have their own interest in being a part of the SMILE program as leaders or helpers or connecting with the students and the participants and playing in the gymnasium and the rink and in the pool setting. In the beehive of activity, SMILE volunteer Leah Witten and her buddy Ashley Muse enthusiastically burst through the gymnasium door. This is Leah Witten's fourth year volunteering. One of my closest friends now at SMILE is my buddy Ashley Muse. I'm Ashley Muse. 
I'm 23 it, 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 it's old. Okay, yeah. Ashley's been coming to smile since she was three years old. The buddies met on Leah's first day volunteering. Well, when I first met Ashley, she pretended that she was really shy, which was not the case at all, and we quickly found out that. Um, so we realized that we could bond over all of the activities that we did together. We both loved dancing and uh, listening to music, coloring, swimming. I remember reading stories online where they talked about the special relationships that are formed between your buddies, and I didn't really have a concept of that because I Again, I hadn't worked with people of varying ability levels, but it was so easy when I came here. It was just like working with absolutely anybody else. Sometimes if we were doing an activity that was frustrating or kind of hard to grasp, we redirected attention towards something that was a little more fun for her and easier to do, so, but we worked through it really well. <laughs> an activity that is always fun for Ashley is coloring, and she proudly shows off her artwork. My favorite is coloring because I, I, I want to be be artist. And what yeah. are we going to do now? Swimming. Time to go swimming. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready to go? Yes. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I always smile because I I like to. <laughs> But we around making new, new, new friends and um, my dad and mom will want me to smile but because to, to support them. My name is Darlene. I'm Wes. We're the Muse family. And our daughter's name is Ashley. Darlene and Wes Muse chat and laugh with other smile parents. Over the years, they become close friends with many of them. The community that Smiles has created in my site is um, a family and uh, right away you know that the children are safe here they're accepted when the muses first brought ashley to smile they wouldn't trust anyone with their daughter wes would even swim in the pool with ashley now darlene and wes comfortably watch from the sidelines as their daughter swims i learned also that she was safe without me being around her all the time and there was people out there i could trust in the Smiles program, trust is a main factor. I can say that Ashley has grown with Smiles, through Smiles. She's become a confident, very confident young lady. What the Smile program has taught us as parents is that it's okay to let go. It took us a long time to do that, but it's okay. I find the core of the Smile program for Ashley is all about when you come here, there's inclusion. There's friends, relationships, and they never put you down. Um, you have ups and downs, just like everyday life, which everybody, to everybody looking in, they kind of say, well, you know, that's life. But to our children with special needs, that's everything. Our community will return after the break. now return to our community. The charming town of Wolfville is in the heart of the Annapolis Valley region of Nova Scotia. Wolfville is home to Acadia University, where during the academic year, a program called SMILE takes place on its campus. SMILE started in 1982, and it's become a vital part of Acadia's campus culture. The program is now offered four times a week, and it attracts hundreds of students who sign up at the start of the semester to volunteer their time. So welcome back. Um, tonight is Disney night, so that's super exciting. We're gonna have lots of Disney music playing in the gym, which I'm pumped for. Before each session, the student volunteers meet to organize the program's activities. We have a snowball fight in the middle of the gym, um, a toss to infinity and beyond, so it's just like a ring toss. When the two-hour smile session gets underway, Acadia's Athletic Center bustles with dozens of activities like volleyball, frisbee, hey, good catch. and bowling. Roxanne Seaman is the program director for Smile. During the Smile programming times on Saturday morning and Friday night, we have between 75 to 80 participants, and they are matched one-on-one -on -one with 
an Acadia student volunteer, and so you will see them engage in individual physical activity opportunities. Hannah Corkum arrives at the Athletic Center with her parents. Born with cerebral palsy, she's one of about 80 participants who take part in the Friday evening smile session for adults. Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm 18 years old and I've been coming to Smile for 13 to 14 years. Hannah is a social butterfly and throughout her years at Smile, she's made a lot of friends. I love hanging out with my buddies and I like to swim all the time in the Acadia pool. And my, mo my most favorite part is walking around with my buddies. All right, you guys are going? Gonna go play? All right, all righty, baby. Love you. Love you. Okay. Hannah hugs her parents goodbye. <laughs> it's a day of love for today. That's the theme, gotta get love. All right, see ya. Hannah and her smile buddy, Leah McPherson, head down the hallway en route to the evening's activities. In the gymnasium, with dozens of other participants and student volunteers, Hannah and Leah start the night with a fun game of basketball. Well, Hannah loves to play basketball, so we'll work on some basketball, some shooting, some dribbling. It helps me get active and really energetic. Yeah, <laughs> so it helps me get energetic. Leah McPherson is a first-year chemistry student at Acadia. Being new to Wolfville, she volunteered at Smile so she could become a part of the community and meet people like her buddy, Hannah. Hannah is very bubbly. She loves to talk. <laughs> she talks all the time. And um, I think we're quite similar to each other. Uh, Hannah loves to dance, and I've done ballet for many, many years. And she also uh, has participated in musicals and I'm very much into music, so I think we're a really good fit. I definitely uh, get excited on Fridays that I get to come here and see Hannah. Yet Leah didn't always feel that way. When she first volunteered, she didn't know what to expect. The first night of Smile, before I even knew who my buddy was, I was quite nervous, and I wasn't sure how it was gonna work. Uh, but as soon as I met Hannah and her parents, uh, they are all so nice and she really eased me into the whole smile experience. The matching is something that we put a lot of time and energy in trying to find the perfect match between a volunteer as well as a participant. So the instructors complete a form and state what their likes are and what their abilities are and what they would like to share with the participants. Many of the parents or the guardians of our participants are able to share what their interests are and what their abilities are and then we try to make a match based upon all of those different pieces of information that we receive at the start of the semester. We use a physical literacy checklist basically to gain better understanding of what their motor abilities are as well as what their interests are and what their motivation is to be physically active and with all of that information we are able to design an individual physical activity plan that works on developing their physical literacy overall. So they have the opportunities to develop their motor skills as well as work on some cognitive and especially we have the opportunity to be very social. Hannah and Leah always end their weekly smile session in the pool. Swimming is her favorite, so we always go to the pool for a swim. Because swimming helps me get moving and acting and active. We assist Hannah getting changed for the pool, and then we go out to the pool and we use the lift to get Hannah into the pool and out of the pool. Like my buddies, they always help me when I'm like when I'm having trouble with some things and helping with me walking around to the pool and helping me stand up and turning me around to sit down in the chair to get in the pool and helping me walk over to my chair when I want to get out. 
we work together to create goals for Hannah and create steps along the way so that we can achieve the goal in the end. But every night, it all comes down to Hannah. We always ask her what she would like to do. It helps me be proud of myself, and I'm glad to be at Smile. And yeah, Smile's a lot of fun. <laughs> Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. At Acadia University in Wolfville, Nova Scotia, student volunteers set up the gymnasium with a number of games, like trampolines, mats, and an obstacle course. We could do that like over the door because like you can see yeah. when you're walking in. Okay, wait, okay. I'll get the tape. Yeah, you guys hold it. That. <laughs> Limbo. Okay. The students are dedicated to the SMILE program. They often arrive over an hour before the program starts and they have a great deal of fun while they set up dozens of activities for SMILES participants. Today is under the sea, so you'll see we have a lot of under the sea themed things. The Sensory Motor Instructional Leadership Experience, or SMILE, has enriched their university experience. One, two, three, SMILE! How are you? How are you? Good, hi. Roxanne Seaman knows that SMILE is successful because of its committed and enthusiastic volunteers. I love working with the university students. They have so many different um, leadership experiences that they come with to SMILE and they share that here. Want to give Abby another hug? I believe that the volunteers are learning as much as the participants are learning. It's a different kind of learning that's taking place. However, I do believe that it's um, breaking their barriers and changing their mindset. And when they leave here and they pursue whatever particular career path they pursue, they're going to be able to see people's abilities and be able to make that impact broader in society and in the community at large. Looking back on her four years with SMILE, Leah Witten appreciates the benefits of volunteering and how SMILE has helped her grow. Volunteering is <laughs> majorly valuable. Not only is it valuable for you, but it's valuable for the person that your person or people that you're working with. I think creating relationships with people in the community, meeting new people that you otherwise wouldn't meet and being able to have an impact on their life somehow, it's amazing. I believe that some of the most positive changes that I've seen within the programming is the growth within each of the different individuals, the participants and the partners together. They develop a bond and then you see that there is a trust with one another. SMILE can change lives. It has a transformational experience in terms of the time that they're spent here and the learning experiences that they gain throughout each of the different program days is certainly life-changing. Were you three when you started SMILE? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. For close to four decades, SMILE has been a part of Acadia University, and it empowers everyone who participates. Are you doing some jumping? We are. Yeah. Can, we see, can we see the jumping? Roxanne wants other communities to have the same access to the physical literacy program and its benefits. I'm really excited to be able to share SMILE with other places that are interested in taking the leadership in running a SMILE program. We have a SMILE program at University of Toronto now with their Masters of Professional Kinesiology program. And recently I've been working with a university in Pittsburgh to start a SMILE program there this upcoming year. So we're excited for those opportunities, but really looking for some other individuals to take this lead and provide it in a number of different communities in Nova Scotia and across Canada as well. This is Leah Witten's last year at Acadia and her last year volunteering at SMILE. I probably won't be in Wolfville next year, so that will be hard. <laughs> um, I think this is going to be one of my saddest goodbyes from leaving Wolfville. Um, obviously, I've made a lot of great friends here and have so many great memories, but SMILE has been absolutely one of the highlights. So it's going to be really hard to leave the program and leave Ashley. I know Neil really well, and I yeah. her. <laughs> when she thinks about not seeing Leah every week, <laughs> Ashley Muse bursts into tears. Come here. Leah comforts Ashley with a hug. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, it's nice, nice, 
The bond that these two friends developed at Smile will last a lifetime. I think Smile has surpassed my expectations. I didn't think I would be getting into a program that I would love so much and that I would find like, such a special friendship that I did. The you Smile for get me all, all, all new, new people? Yeah. While it's Leah Witten's last year with Smile, Leah McPherson's first year volunteering was a success. She came to find a community and she found one in Smile and in her blossoming friendship with her buddy Hannah. Well, Smile is so much fun and you really get to see how your participant uh, progresses throughout the semester and throughout the year that you're with them or longer, depending on <laughs> how long you're in the program. But yeah, it's really rewarding to see them improving. I'm definitely gonna stay with Smile uh, throughout my entire degree. <laughs> I hope you guys love Smile and thank you for your support and likeness and yeah. I believe that Smile brings a community together. It equals the playing field. It provides opportunities for so many individuals to learn. It isn't just about our students providing opportunities for participants with different ability levels. It's about showing how everyone can succeed if given the opportunity to be able to do that. And it happens to be through the medium of physical activity. Producers Rachel Bauer and Brittany Kerr. Director Rachel Bauer. Writer Rachel Bauer. Narrator Jim Van Horn. Director of Photography Scott Barrington. Location Audio Corey Sewell. Editor Sarah Byrne. Sound Mix Reese Waters. Online Editor Brendan Wilson. Production Accountant Brittany Kerr. Integrated Describe Video Specialist Simone Cupid. Special Thanks Andrew Roach. Graphics Andrew Antonello. Regional Content Specialist Ryan Delahunty. Coordinating Producer Jennifer Johnson. Consulting producer Colette Vosberg. Director of Production Karen I. Director of Programming Brian Perdue. VP Programming and Production John Melville. President and CEO David Arrington. Produced with the participation of Canada Media Fund. Copyright 2020 Accessible Media Inc.